click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here coming from a fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to talk about drawing stereoisomers for the following molecule, assigning RNS to all chiral centers and how are each of your molecules related. Right now we're not showing any stereochemistry at all. So we need, we need to draw that ourselves. So here we have the potential of having one, two stereo centers. So there's two potential stereo centers. Two to the N equals two to the two equals four potential stereo isomers. So we should have four drawings here, four drawings. Let's start. So again, just draw the stereochemistry N because there's nothing shown. There's nothing shown in my original molecule. I can assign whatever stereochemistry I want to these centers and build from there, okay? So let's... OH, let's draw that mirror image real quick. OH there, and we'll put an OH here. So now I think, what? hold on now, wait a minute. These are the same. Those, those are the same molecule, Dr. Betts. You're right, they are the same molecule. If I pick this one up and, and I, I can overlap it, I can superimpose it directly onto that one, can't I? Ha! So these are not a pair of enantiomers because this is meso. It's meso. It has an internal mirror plane right here that reflects this part of the molecule onto that one. So this is actually not chiral. How is it not chiral? Because this mirror image is not superimposable. Because the mirror image is not superimposable, that means you're not chiral. So this is a non-chiral molecule. So this molecule does not have four stereoisomers. It only has three. Because this and that are the same thing. This mirror image does not give you an enantiomer. So there's a, a fly in the ointment, if you will. You can have four potential stereoisomers, but you don't necessarily have that many because I've just shown you, you have the potential for meso. All right, let's draw the other stereoisomers. There are two more. Draw one of the OHs back. One of the OHs coming forward now. Draw the OH front. And now the OH back. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that this and that are indeed the same thing. They're also meso, but they're not. These are enantiomers for sure. Let's see why. Let's make sure. Because remember, in antimers, the stereocenters drawn in the left enantiomer should be opposite of these ones, right? So if I get all, if I get double, I get R and R, I should get S and S, or S and S, R and R. They should be opposite if they're enantiomers. Let's find out. So here, we have an H there, so that's four, one, two, three. So that's S. We have a one. Four, two, three. That's also S. We have a one, four, two, three. That's R. So it's looking pretty good. That's also R. So these are most definitely enantiomers. Now, how are these two related? These are enantiomers. These two are related to this one as diastereomers. That's how it works, okay? So basically, if you're not an enantiomer, you must be a diastereomer if you're a stereoisomer. Of course, you could also be meso, so be careful of meso. All right? Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, slap that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're working on in your chemistry class. Maybe I can help you out. And if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube content. It really does help out YouTube creators when you subscribe to their channel. It lets YouTube know we're doing a good job. And also, if you want... Share my content with other people. Let your friends and family know that I'm out there willing and ready to help them with their organic chemistry problems. Now, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.